Paul is back with caramelized mushroom on croissant toast. Yum. Here's what you need. Butter croissants, olive oil, cremini mushrooms, sea salt, Dijon mustard, red wine vinegar, horseradish, garlic, ground sage, pepper, salted butter, and some chives. I could have actually just stopped after croissant because I'm already good. But Paul, very intrigued by this recipe. Tell me more. Right. So I feel like this certainly bears <laughs> explaining. Um, I love, especially during the, you know, the colder months, to serve appetizers on toasts. And every culture has their version of it. You know, the French have tartines. The people of Europe have their open face sandwiches. And certainly in Italy, they have crostini. But I always find that sometimes the bread can be a little bit hard. It can sort of like break your teeth. And so what I began doing back when I was catering was I would use croissants and I would cut crostini from the croissants and I started calling them quastini. So, I mean, <laughs> a lot of people were confused by it, but ultimately it's just a really light buttery vessel for some flavorful topping. And in this case, a very seasonal topping, I'm gonna make caramelized mushrooms to go on top. Oh, that sounds delicious. How do we start? So it all starts with mushrooms. I like basic cremini mushrooms. I've just given them a light brushing on the outside, and now we're just going to cut them into, you know, for a large one, I would do six kind of wedges like so, and for a smaller one, you know, just into quarters. And I've already got some going here because here's the thing. A lot of people say they don't like mushrooms. I hear it all time and time again, and I used to not like mushrooms, and I suspect it's because they've had mushrooms that are not cooked enough, you know, they're maybe a little bit gray or rubbery or wet. And really, I mean, anyone who's a meat eater who likes meat would, I, in my opinion, really like a caramelized mushroom. So I've cooked these in some olive oil and a, just a pinch of sea salt for a good like 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your heat source, until they're really, really, really caramelized. Mushrooms become little sponges for flavor. So at this point, you can see they've shrunk quite a bit, right? This was a lot of mushrooms to begin with. And I'm just going to add some flavors and they are going to slurp it up. So I'm going to add some prepared horseradish and some red wine vinegar for a little bit of acidity. Now keep them moving. Some Dijon mustard. And it already smells so good in here. And now some garlic, of course, because garlic and mushrooms are a perfect pairing. And some ground sage, or you could use some chopped fresh sage. And a little bit of black pepper. Pepper is also one of those, you know, must-haves when I'm cooking with mushrooms of any kind. And now you just want to coat them, get them really nice and comfy with each other. And then once they've dried, so this will also depend on the heat of your pan, but once they started to look dry on the outside, we're just going to add a little bit of butter just to sort of glaze the outside, just a touch. Because why not add more butter? You can never go wrong with the butter. That's Flavortown right there, right? That's right. And it also, it just makes them shine. It makes them glisten a little. And now I would just take that off the heat. And these are little flavor bombs. So I'm going to just make some croissant crostini, crostini, whatever you'll call them, just by slicing slices of day-old croissants or two-day-old croissants. As a matter of fact, if they're stale, they're even easier to slice into the oven for about eight minutes at 350. And you get these lovely golden brown butter scented vessels. And they're not going to break your teeth. They're going to be full of flavor. <laughs> and now... I'm just going to top them with some of these here. And you don't need a lot because there's a lot of flavor in these mushrooms. So you don't, you know, you don't need to put a huge pile on, just a few per sandwich. And little tip, you can also make these mushrooms to go on top of some roast chicken. You could mix them into a pasta. They're very versatile. But in this case, if you're at home for Thanksgiving and you want to have some nice autumn appetizer, it's a beautiful way to celebrate with whoever you're at home with. A little chive on top. Paul, your recipes never disappoint. It, they look so good, and I know if I was trying it, I would be over the moon. So thank you so much for that. Uh, looks incredible, and you won't break your teeth. Thanks, Tracy. That's very important.